you're going to take a look at working with brushes in Adobe Illustrator. I've got a free brush pack that we'll post a link to to go along with this video. And we really want to be aware of brushes, especially if we're t-shirt or apparel designers, because we can do some dynamic things with brushes, and we can work with them in ways that we really can't work with with standard clip art, or so that I call static clip art. Brushes are really interactive, and you can very quickly shape them or form them to your design to create that flow that looks really nice on your garment. Now, whenever I'm working, I like to design on garments so I can see what I'm looking at as far as the balance of the design against the actual t-shirt that we're going to be printing or designing. Now, we've got a bunch of different brushes here. We just want to take a look at a couple of these and look at some of the functionality with brushes in Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and add some flames. I've got a pretty standard, you know, just a little text set up here, Elite Designer Brushes, and then I've got a chopper here. And what I want to do is just very quickly dress this up with some nice elements working with the brushes in Illustrator. So I'll go ahead and start with some flames. And there's actually a flame up here at the top I'd like to work with. I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to go ahead and work on layer 5 here, which is in between 2, which has my design. And then my garment is here on layer 4. So I'm going to be working behind my layer with the actual graphic on it with these brushes. But the first thing I'll do is I'll just go ahead and take this flame brush, select that. I'll come over here to the brush tool, and I can just left click hold down or if you've got a tablet you can work with that and just bring this up here and then just kind of flare it up there just a little bit and you can see how it laid down that brush stroke and we'll zoom in and take a look here now I'm gonna go ahead and change that to a 2 so I want to go ahead and select that and we'll change that to a two point stroke right there and now you can see I've got a really nice flame effect there now there's a really cool tool with the illustrator brushes that gives you really perfect control over your brush strokes and that's over here and that is your width tool right here and you can select that and come over here and you'll see that my node will change and if I start to left click hold down and pull I can actually widen my flame there and then I could actually if I want to bring that in smaller up here at the top I could pinch that in you can see the control that I have over that stroke now, not only can I set down these strokes with the pen tool, but I can also lay down a path and then just apply the stroke to it. Once I've done this, I can take a look at different strokes in that position there. Now, this one comes in a little bit too big, so I can change this from the 2.76 down to, let's say, a 2, and take a look at that. And I can actually go down to, let's say, a 1 point, and take a look at that. And then I could go back with my width tool again and start to make some adjustments here and bring that out in size just a little bit or bring it down a little bit. You can see how graphic these elements are. This black flame has a nice draft shadow down behind it for the graphic element of the brush. And then I could just go ahead and expand that. I'm going to hit Alt and zoom out just a little bit. And I'll just grab the pan tool here and we'll just pan this over here. And with that selected, I'm actually going to go ahead now and I'll just go to Object and I'll select Expand Appearance and then I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt and we'll duplicate that over here on the other side I'd say right about there and then I'll just go up here to Object, Transform and Reflect and I'll select OK and we'll just go ahead and position this over here on the left hand side so we've got you know kind of like a flame going off both sides I want to move this off just a little bit here now looking at these brushes I got a lot of different brushes in this sample pack here but you can see as we go down we've got some ancient text you can use that for the MMA stuff. There's some distress. There's some barbed wire here. You know, if I wanted to bring some barbed wire effects down in, through here, I could go select that brush, and then I could come down over here and then just start to work with some barbed wire here and bring that down into my design and do different things with it. Now, I'm just kind of working quickly here for the sake of the tutorial. Obviously, I'd go back in and do some tweaking and stuff, but I can just build this out into a nice barbed wire effect that's going to come right up along the side of the flames there on both sides something like that there and then something like that there and coming down here and we'll just come in this way and then pile that up now looking at this I can go ahead and add another layer and let's say we want to put some distress or grunge here I'll go here pull this down on top of the t-shirt I'll come up into this distress or grunge brush here I'm going to set this up as two point and I'll just go ahead and left click hold down and drag that right down into here and I'll do some more of the same here and we'll do some more so we're getting a really nice distress look from those distress brushes now this is just a quick tutorial if I want to I could spend quite a bit more time tweaking these and as I said I'll post the uh, free sample pack with a link to download it here 
with the video, but as you can see, working with brushes in Adobe Illustrator here in a minute of just a few minutes, I've gone from just having a standard design set up to really dressing something up with some flames and distress in different types of effects and elements into design, types of elements that are very popular in the t-shirt or apparel design market at this time, and there's about 15 or 16 or 17 brushes here that you'll be able to work with. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we are going to do a pretty significant training series relating to the brushes and how to work with them pretty soon on our website. But for now, you can go ahead and go ahead and work with these free brushes and try this out and see how it works for your t-shirt design workflow. So as I said, we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.